We just need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great. What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there, it's stuck. Oh no! The barn owl. Everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy Hero. Look what I got from Grandpa and Grandma. It's a toy that makes animal sounds like so. <laughs> that was the sound of a dog. See, if I press a button, a sound appears. Do you know which animal this sound belongs to? <laughs> That's right. It belongs to an owl. An owl makes a hooting sound. <laughs> What's that scary sound? <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> hey, it looks like an owl. But it doesn't sound like the owl from my toy. <laughs> you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. We found a strange owl in the garden. Hi, Leo. I've received the photo. But why did you say it's strange? It doesn't hoot like other owls. It makes these scary noises instead. <coughs> there it is again. Did you hear that? I sure did. How interesting. Let me see what I can find out about it. Great. And coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So, why does this owl not hoot? Hi, Leo. Well, not all owls sound the same. And this owl is a barn owl. A barn owl. I see. So a barn owl communicates in a different way than other owls. That's right. But like most owls, barn owls are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. How can they hunt when they are so loud? Of course barn owls don't call when they hunt. They also have fine, soft feathers that help them fly silently when they hunt their prey. This makes barn owls very quiet and great hunters. However, adult barn owls returning to their nest may sometimes call out to their young. Wow, so what do barn owls eat? Barn owls eat different small animals, such as mice, rats, birds, and fish. I see, where can they be found? Except for Antarctica, these birds can be found almost anywhere in the world. They are often called barn owls because they are commonly found in barns. But these owls can live in other places, such as grasslands and forest edges. Hmm. I think the garden is no place for the barn owl to live. It needs a better place to hunt. We should bring it back to its home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the owl would love that. Let's go! It 
it looks like nobody's here. What's that sound? I can't see anything. What is it, Barn Owl? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Ah, you found me. Welcome to the Grasslands, Junior Rangers. I see you've brought along a Barn Owl. How is it able to find you in the dark? That is because Barn Owls can see and hear very well. They can even find their prey in total darkness, so they are excellent hunters. The Barn Owl prefers to hunt along the edge of woods or small forests where it can find a lot of small animals. For their nests, they choose places like tree holes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a field with a few trees. And on this side is a field next to a small forest. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a field with a few trees. And over there is a field next to a small forest. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the field next to the small forest because the barn owl likes to hunt there and it likes to live in tree holes. Let's go! We just need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great. What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there. It's stuck. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for... Contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer-upper, Fluffy, and the Imp. Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. Not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... Songcram, the countrywide water fight marking the new year. Make sure you have a bucket ready and prepare to get splashed. The tradition is meant to wash away the misfortunes from the previous year and welcome the new one. But that's not the answer. Your second clue is... Pad Thai! The stir-fried rice noodle dish is known to use all five tastes. Salty, sour, sweet, spicy, and bitter. Making it unforgettable. Here's a hint. The clue is in the name. Imp, huh? you are correct! Aha! Today's mystery country is... Yeah. Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where, Where in the World. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Hey, Billy. Chucky, check out my poster. That's a nice view of the desert night sky, Paula. <laughs> Hi, guys. This song is awesome. Do you want to listen, too? Hi, Tim. Hi, Calc. No, thanks. We're looking at stars. Stars? Are they rock stars or movie stars or superstars? <laughs> no, Tim. I mean the stars on my poster. Look at all the shiny stars in the sky. Cool. How many are there? I'm not sure, but the numbers can help us count how many stars there are on the poster. <laughs> Let's count.
count the number of stars on the poster. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten stars in the sky. Paula, the poster is folded. Maybe there are more stars on the other side. You're right, Billy. Let's have a look. Oh, no! There's a hole in the poster. I was really hoping to see all the stars in the desert night sky. Let's go to the desert to see them. That's a great idea, Tim. We just need to find the exact same spot with the pyramid. Come on, everyone. Let's go to the desert to look at the stars. It's still daytime, Paula. How do we find the place on the poster if we can't see the night sky? I guess we can start looking for the pyramid. So, which way to the pyramid? I don't know. I <gasps> know where the pyramid is. Uncle Sphinx! You know how we can get to this place on the poster? Yes, just head north. North? Which way is that, Uncle Sphinx? I guess north is... This way. way! Let's go, everyone! I'm going to listen to my music while we walk. <laughs> Paula, where's everybody? Oh, no! Now we have to look for them before finding the stars. Where do we start? If you want <gasps> to find one of your friends, travel east. How do we know which way is east? Use the compass to find your way. How do I use this compass to find east? Turn the compass until the red needle points to the letter N. N stands for north. Okay, we have to turn the compass until the red needle points north. Now stick out your right arm to the side and head in that direction to go east. Now we stick out our right hand to the side. So that way is east. Thanks, Uncle. Sphinx? We've been traveling for a really long time, Paula. I still don't see our friends. Did Uncle Sphinx give us the wrong direction? No, it's definitely the right direction. Look over there, Billy. It's Calc. Hello, Calc. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Uh, uh. Have you seen Tim and Chalky? We still have to find them before we see the stars, Paula. That's right, Billy. Now, where should we look for them? Head <gasps> south. It's you again, Uncle Sphinx. How do we find south? To find south, face north, then turn around and walk in that direction. To find south, first we need to face north, and then turn around. So south is that way. There's more walking. I'm really tired, Paula. Here, take the magic carpet. Thank you so much, Uncle. Sphinx? To the south to find our friend's magic carpet. I hope we find Tim and Chalky soon. They must be really afraid being lost in the desert all alone. Yeah. I hope they're okay. Look, Paula. Isn't that Tim over there? You're right, Billy. Tim! We're here, Tim! I'm so glad we found you, Tim. Are you okay? Huh? Uh, sure, I'm fine. 
Are we there yet? We've been walking for a really long time. I don't think Tim knows we've been looking for him. Hey, where's Chalky? He's also lost. We need to find him. To find ah! your friend, head back north. Uncle, Uncle Sphinx! Why are you children still shocked to see me? You should be used to it by now. I don't think we'll ever get used to it, Uncle Sphinx. So Chalky is back in the north, Uncle. Sphinx? He's gone again! Come on, guys. Let's find Chucky. North is in that direction. It's really late, and we still haven't found Chucky. Oh, look! It's the pyramid from your poster, Paula. We found the place. Yeah. But Chalky is still missing. Hello, children. Mr. Merchant? Hi, Mr. Merchant. What are you doing here? Your friend told me that he wanted to find the place with the best stars in the sky, so I brought him here. <gasps> Chalky! We're so happy to see you, Chalky. Where have you been? Are you okay? That's great. We're all together. And now I can find out what's missing in my poster. There are a lot more stars, Paula. And Uncle Sphinx. I love the pretty stars, too. <laughs> <laughs> Number of the day. Ten, Ten stars. Ten compasses. Paula, now you're facing north. You need to take four steps to the east. So if north is straight ahead, then east is this way. One, two, three, four. Open your eyes, Paula. Surprise! Um, what is Calc doing? Calc is a shooting star, Paula. You get to make a wish. I wish for... More shooting stars like Calc. <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure. Welcome back! We just need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great! What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there! It's stuck! Oh no! Let's free it! Hold still, little friend. I'm only trying to help. It's the net. The barn owl is afraid of it. We should try to take its attention away from the net to calm it down. Let's try this. It's the animal sound toy. You brought it with you. Here, little friend. Listen to this. <coughs> and it's off. Phew. Great job, everyone. Hmm. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! 
If you want to find the barn owl's home, just look for a tree hole, not for a fishing pole or a spring roll, but look for a tree hole. I see. So not for a fishing pole or a spring roll, but, but look, look for a, a tree, tree hole. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the barn owl's home, you have to look for a tree hole. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the barn owl's home. What's that? Hmm. It's a hole in the ground, not a hole in a tree. Another animal already lives there. Let's continue. Is that a tree hole? It is, but it's too small for a barn owl. Look, another bird already lives in it. So let's move on. What is that? It's a tree hole. Could it be the barn owl's home? It's the perfect size, so it must be its home. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the barn owl's home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a barn owl in our garden. We learned that the barn owl is an excellent hunter at night and that it likes to live in places like tree holes. So we went to the grassland and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>